Regards, Dr. Byron C. Phillips, MBA, your professor, your tennis pro, your life coach, and your executive coach. Click the link at the bottom, share the video, like the video, make comments, subscribe to my channel. <clears throat> the topic for this video is when doing wrong can actually be doing right. I believe in organizations creating a culture of failure. That is, people feel that it's okay to make errors. We can laugh about them, recognize them, move on and not repeat them, and forgive others who might make similar errors so that they can be inspired and motivated and reinforced and rewarded toward even greater performances. Adam Grant in the book, Think Again, urged us to see how being wrong can actually be a good thing. Grant said, <clears throat> being wrong is a sign that we've learned something new. And that discovery can be delightful to everybody in the organization and help us maintain our humility. Grant said that we have a miniature detector inside our heads that wants to shut down our new and novel ideas and especially the novel and new ideas of others. <clears throat> Grant quoted Feynman who quipped, quote, you must not fool yourself and guess who the easiest person to fool is? Yourself, end quote. We are not born with views and opinions. We choose our views and opinions and we can choose to rethink and change them. This inner detector of which Grant referred prevails too often by activating either overconfidence or underconfidence. An overconfidence cycle is wrong, just as underconfidence is. We don't want our opinions to be shielded by filter bubbles, where we seek only information that already reinforces our biases.